Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a ginormous grocery haul. I didn't mean to do this, but here we are. I'm also starving and I wanna eat every single thing. As you can see, it's a really big haul. Are we in focus? Probably not. There we go. But so this was supposed to be just an Aldi haul. I was going to Aldi this morning to get some of the things we needed, but instantly it was pretty clear I was still gonna have to go to Trader Joe's to fill in some holes. I know for most people, Trader Joe's is that kind of shop where it's like just for fun. But for our family, we've like grown accustomed to a lot of Trader Joe's things. My toddler loves a lot of Trader Joe's things. So they did, Aldi just didn't have some of the stuff we needed. So I knew I was gonna go to Trader Joe's and then Trader Joe's had some fun, new, exciting stuff. And so now it's just this massive grocery haul. I got a lot of food and I'm really excited about a lot of it. All of it, really. So yeah, that I would just share if you are new, if you just stumbled upon this channel, I have a family of three, me, my husband, and my toddler. A lot of the stuff I got from Trader Joe's are like our weekly staples. And a lot of the stuff I got from Aldi are our like Aldi favorites, things I normally pick up from there. So hopefully Hopefully you find this fun, useful, entertaining. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna start with Aldi, just cause that's new and exciting. So I'm new to Aldi. You guys know I'm a Trader Joe's bitch, but I love going there. I think because at least for me, which is something I love, but also something really annoying about Aldi is there's always new stuff, which is fun and exciting and great. But the issue is that is sometimes I'll fall in love with something and go back and it'll be gone or I'll never see it again. They had a few of my things that I can never find today. So I'm really excited. They also do have some like staples that I've fallen in love with that I pick up every time we go. So yeah, I'll shut up and we'll get into it. We'll start with produce. I, you guys know I love the Trader Joe's organic Caesar salad kit, but I also love all these Caesar chopped salad kit. This stuff is so good. I always pick up one of these when I'm there. One of my favorite Aldi products ever is this like, what would you call this? Artisan lettuce pack. You get like four actual lettuce heads. This stuff lasts so much longer than like bagged lettuce. You just peel it like right off the core. I want to grow my own lettuce. We tried this year, but something ate it like the second day we planted it. We bought like little starters. And so until I can figure out how for it to not get eaten, I don't want to try it again because the heartbreak is too much. So I just buy this every time I'm at Aldi and it's delicious. I love like the mix of purple lettuce in there. I love like different kinds of lettuce. I know a lot of people just like romaine or butter lettuce or iceberg. I like like the dark, more flavorful stuff. So this is delicious and will last us for a few weeks, honestly. Also you guys, major update to my life. I've discovered Jersey Mike's. <laughs> I've had Jersey Mike's before and I actually think about Jersey Mike's often, but I never actually go. I recently had the stomach flu when I was recovering from it and like the few days after and like I kind of had an appetite but I didn't. The only thing I wanted was Jersey Mike's so we got it and now I'm obsessed with it. I think we've had it three times since and it's it's been like three weeks. <laughs> and in an effort to try and make my own Mike's Way sandwich at home, I got some shredded lettuce. Yes, I could shred up lettuce myself but this is just easy and I will use this and I'm just gonna just try it for lunch today. And I'm gonna try and put red wine vinegar and olive oil and seasoning on it. Like I can't wait. I have been craving caprese anything lately. I've been making just like actual caprese salads like on the sides of dinners and it's been incredible. And I was prepared to pick up some tomatoes at Trader Joe's, but I saw that they had these tomatoes on the vine for a very good deal. I don't remember how much they were, but I remember it was like, whoa, that's a really good deal. And I feel like they last a little bit longer. If you keep them on the vine, just pick them off as you need them. I could be making that up, but these looked beautiful. I also will slice this for my Jersey Mike sandwich, any sandwich I have, I love tomatoes. Speaking of tomatoes, I love these tomatoes. I talk about them all the time because I usually get them at Costco. It's the Magnifico brand grape tomatoes. Obviously at Costco, it is a huge bin of them, which I don't mind and I can usually eat my way through them. But if I'm at Aldi and I'm in need of tomatoes, like I absolutely will pick this up. And today this was on sale for 80 something cents, like incredible. But I love tomatoes. I use these in all sorts of things, pastas, salads, literally everything, guacamole, whatever I can throw them in, I throw them in. I did pick up some baby Bella mushrooms. Again, anything I can throw this in, I will. I love to make teriyaki bowls throw them in pasta. I just love them on the side as their own thing. I, I love mushrooms. <laughs> then the only fruit I picked up was some organic strawberries. These looked delicious. Milo's kind of like, usually strawberries are something he always eats, but right now he won't. Like he's just having a no strawberry moment, but I still want to eat these. So I purchased them anyway. He'll eat freeze dried strawberries, but he's on a bit of a strike with fresh strawberries. Okay. And I had the greatest morning of my life and Aldi because there was nobody there. I was childless. I was having a good time. I turned the corner and one of the end caps was plants. They had blackberry, raspberry, and blueberry bushes on sale for $6. $6. I already have a blueberry and a raspberry bush, but I feel like I need to go back 
and get one of each because why not have more? Six dollars. I don't know if they're good quality, but I'm like willing to try. Gives you planting instructions on the back. I've never grown blackberries. We just now this year, after having the bush for three years, got our first raspberries, but it was the most exciting thing of my life. So I'm just so excited. Comes in like a little bag down there. So we'll get this potted up ASAP. And I'm just absolutely delighted. I should go back, don't you think? I should get more. <laughs> and I should get them as gifts for everyone I know. Also part of that end cap, they had summer bulbs. You guys know that I lose my mind over bulbs. Right now it is daffodil and tulip season and my yard is blooming and incredible. Nobody told me about summer bulbs. We bought dahlias, we planted them. I have something else we're gonna plant. And then more, and these bags each were $5. So these are gladiolas. I just thought these were pretty. They looked like Hawaii. I know that they're not plumeria flowers, but the colors reminded me of those. And then I got these cauliflowers. Now, I came home with these and I said, Bradley James, that's my husband. If you can tell me why I bought these, I will know that our marriage is real. <laughs> and he, he looked at them. He thought about it for a second. If you can answer, pause it and do so. I will give you a moment. I'll just stand here in silence. The answer is in the Gene Wilder original Willy Wonka movie. This is the kind of flower during the pure imagination scene at the very end, he sits down, he picks up a teacup, drinks it and eats it. It's this flower. And so when I saw that, I was like, I have to try and grow these. I also thought the color mix was interesting. I don't know, like often you buy these color mixes and then it just is one color. I hope that I get at least one black in there cause like how fun. Also again, planting instructions on the back, when to plant. So very helpful. I should go back and spend all my money on bulbs and berry trees. I did pick up some Italian seasoned croutons. I haven't tried these, but we're out of croutons. And if you don't know this about me, I like my kryptonite is pop tarts and croutons. Like. <laughs> those are my favorite things in the world. We normally have the like Olive Garden ones on hand that you could buy at the store, but we're out of those. And I bought that head, of, those heads of lettuce. I know that there will be an abundance of salads and I love to throw in some croots. So I picked these up. I don't know if they're good, I'll let you know. Let's have a croot test right now. They smell exactly like the Olive Garden ones. Yes. God, I love a crouton. Let me give you a tip as I wrap this up here. The croutons from Costco, they come in like a big white bag. They're the worst croutons I've ever put in my mouth. Do not buy them. They're terrible. In my Jersey Mike's era, I want chips. Chips is not something I normally buy, which is just kind of like, cause if I have them, I'll eat them. But lately I'm like, so what? If you want some chips one week, buy them. And I love baked Lay's chips. This is um, Clancy's, which is Aldi's brand, but I love a baked barbecue chip. So I picked this up for if we go pick up Jersey Mike's, I don't have to buy the $5 bag of small chips, or if I make it at home, like today. I'm gonna pop this open and have some with lunch. I fell to my knees today. Probably like six months ago, Aldi had these bagel chips and I bought a bag. I'm like, let me try them. They're the most incredible. I love bagel chips, who doesn't? They're so incredible. And then they haven't had them since, not a one. But they had some today, so I got two bags. Incredible. And these ones are the roasted garlic. They have plain and roasted garlic. These ones are so delicious. If you're into garlic, highly recommend. Probably my very favorite Aldi find, are, are the knockoff pastaronis. <laughs> I love pastaroni. I, you guys, I know that I am, and I really am trying to like be more healthy, make more things at home, less filler ingredients, less nasty ingredients, but I also am a child of the 90s and like I am what I am. <laughs> and I love pastaroni. I grew up on pastaroni. So it's an extreme comfort meal. And when I'm having those days where I am so anxious or my OCD is really bad, and I don't really wanna eat, this always sounds good. And so I have a, cute, a couple of these on hand, if they have. A lot of the times they don't have them, but I love the angel hair with like herb sauce, pastarani. This tastes exactly like it. I know Aldi tries to use better ingredients, so hopefully it's a little bit better than the pastarani, but so good, highly recommend. <laughs> and of course you can bulk this up for like a full meal with like chicken and all that, but like mama will just eat an entire box to herself on a bad mental health day and feel great about it. <laughs> These were new to me. These are almond flour crackers. The ingredients were incredible and they are parma Parmesan rosemary flavored, which that's what got me to buy them. I actually love almond flour. Um, we bake a few things with almond flour. I think it's delicious. So I am excited to try these. I'll show you in a second, but I also got some fancy cheese from Trader Joe's, total impulse purchase because it was the, um, sample and I will dip. Now, the main reason I return to Aldi besides fun is these pouches, are these pouches. Milo is two and a half and these say they're, well, they're for like six months plus, but my child still loves a pouch. I love an applesauce pouch or any sort of pouch for on the go. They just kind of save our lives a lot of the times. And a lot of the times this is the only way I'll get a vegetable in them. But he loves these. It's pretty good ingredients, nothing like really nasty added, but I appreciate that they're organic and they're so affordable. They're, I think each 82, 83, 84, 85 cents. 80 
make something since. They used to be more, they went on sale, they just stayed on sale. So I get them just all the ones with vegetables. We have apple, pear, spinach. This one is mango, apple, banana, avocado, kale, apple, pear, broccoli. He loves the apple and sweet potato one. And there's just so many. Pear, mixed berry, beet with flax, pear, blueberry, spinach. Some of them have yogurt in them. So when I go to Aldi, I stock up because usually I'll give him one of these with dinner and he loves it. Second reason I fell to my knees today in Aldi is because the original reason I went there in the first place was because I saw this here pizza on TikTok and I wanted to try it. So I was like, maybe I should give this Aldi place a try and now I love it. This is breakfast pizza sausage and cheese breakfast pizza with biscuit crust we have tried this before absolutely incredible there was one left today and we tried that a while ago and we loved it and i check for it every single time and they never have it i haven't tried a pizza from aldi yet that i haven't liked from this brand mama cozy's which i feel like is aldi's brand um here's a picture of a slice incredible i love the breakfast pizza from whole foods and this tastes the same to me so really convenient and easy to make from home love it would have bought five if they had more. I haven't tried this, but again, from the same brand, this is the chicken Alfredo pizza. Looks incredible. We love a frozen pizza night in this house. These are a repeat purchase. We loved these. These are the loaded potato tots. They're hash brown potato bites mixed with cheese and a hint of bacon. They just taste like a baked potato, no, not a baked potato, a um, potato skin. Delicious. And they're kind of bigger, so you don't get as many in here, but like a few is satisfying. It's great for like, we had some during the Super Bowl, you know? It's great for that kind of situation. And then I recently restocked my turkey meatballs that I keep in the freezer, which I did film for that meal prep video that will be up eventually. And I have just been craving like an at-home spaghetti night. We don't do it often because Bradley doesn't love spaghetti noodles. He's weird. I don't know what's wrong with him. But I, I asked him, I was like, hey, I'm really craving this. Would you be down? And he's like, yeah, let's have a spaghetti night. And with it, I wanted some like old school style Texas toast. So this is Aldi's version of it. It looks pretty promising. Looks like the original Texas toast I've always had. Um, so we'll have that salad, spaghetti, meatballs tonight. And I'm excited about it. <laughs> okay guys, so that is it. I spent $90.53 at Aldi. Oh, I did also get, I hid it in the garage, but I got Milo a little Spider-Man sipper cup for his Easter basket. And I feel like that's also higher than usual because I got the like bulbs and the blackberry bush. I feel like normally at Aldi, I spend like 50 or 60, which is great. I'm always shocked by how much I buy for the price. Now moving on to Trader Joe's, let's start with produce. I got some herbs. I got dill and parsley, demon fridge. These are by far my most user, this and, and basil, but I didn't buy basil because we have some growing in the garden that we just planted. I also have both of these growing in the garden, but I wanna make tzatziki and that requires, at least our taste, requires a lot of dill. So I didn't wanna completely deplete our plant and same with parsley. Like I put about a pound of parsley in everything I eat and our plants are still like, becoming abundant. So I definitely didn't want to deplete those. So I bought these two and also flat Italian leaf parsley is newish to Trader Joe's and I'm so happy. I just take this out. It still is like on the stems. I put it in a little mason jar full of water out on the counter and it lasts for like a week and a half. For said tzatziki, I bought a cucumber. I will use half of this. This will again be in my meal prep video. So you'll see it. I also put this on my like turkey cucumber cream cheese sandwiches. I also, something about being in Disney World, I was eating so many cucumbers, I was craving them. So I was like, I need to like put cucumbers in more things. So that's what I'm gonna do. So phallic. Milo is on a strawberry strike, but he is not on a blueberry strike. He is downing these like nobody's business. I also kind of want to make this Ina garden cake that we made last Easter. It is, oh what crap, I didn't buy ricotta. <laughs> I'll just have to go back. It's a ricotta lemon blueberry like breakfast cake. It was delicious. I'm not normally into like lemon desserts, which I know sounds nuts because I love lemons, but it was so good. So I bought the like extra big thing in case I want to make that cake. Well, now I'll definitely make that cake or in case Milo eats through this all today, I got the big one. And I also got bananas because Milo is also a monkey and loves bananas. Also half for me, half for Milo. I don't know if he'll eat these. We haven't tried these in a while, but just some cuties, um, but it sounded good on the side of like my lunch. So I picked those up. Hopefully Milo will eat them too. The thing Milo is eating most these days are Honeycrisp apples. He, he will have two apples a day. So I can't keep up. And so we do have a lot in the fridge right now, but I bought some more. Also, all of us will eat them. Honeycrisp apples are where it's at. A little bit of peanut butter, if you fancy, just so good. I got my Dutch yellow, baby Dutch yellow potatoes. We use these for everything. Mashed potatoes, roasted potatoes, breakfast potatoes. Sometimes Bradley, if I'm lucky, will make his like potatoes au gratin or scallop potatoes, something with like delicious cream. It's incredible. So we use these for everything. These are just like my favorite type of potato. Also got diced onions. If you know, you know, I will not dice a raw onion. It makes me want to die. Makes me gag, makes me cry, makes us all do that. And so I won't use onions unless I have this and I use onions in a lot of things. So works out. <laughs> it was last 
Mother's Day, I think, I discovered my love for baked potatoes and the love continues. So I will just buy a couple and they last for a little while in the pantry. And we'll have baked potato night. I'll roast some chicken, not even roast, bake some chicken. I've been making this delicious Meyer lemon chicken breast, like just in the oven with our Meyer lemons that taste so good with garlic and all that. Chicken, baked potato, salad or Caesar salad, a cut up tomato with salt and pepper, my ideal dinner. So I, I always try to have these on hand. It's also super easy. Now moving on to the cheeses. Oh, I did get um, sharp cheddar. Milo is obsessed with yellow cheese, but I opened that and I forgot. So I did get some yellow cheddar or sharp cheddar. <laughs> I also got some more mozzarella because we used up the whole thing we got last time with the Caprices. And this is the fancy cheese I was talking about. Dorothy's Garden Secret Soft Ripened Cheese. It's got basil, oregano, and sage. It's in this beautiful little like scallop flower. This was like $8 and I was like, why am I buying this? But it was the sample and it was incredible and I had to have it. So we'll have a fancy cheese afternoon. Maybe I'll make a little platter. You know, <laughs> it'll be fun. But this was so, so good. Especially if you're having like people over for Easter, this would be a delightful cheese to include on your cheese board. Some dairy products. I got some more um, plain whole milk Greek yogurt. Milo loves Greek yogurt. He loves it with cinnamon in it. He loves it with prunes mixed in, um, but also for the tzatziki. And then Costco has been out of just the unsalted butter, which is what we use for baking for months. So every time we go, we just pick one up for when we make cookies, because we make cookies all the time. I mean, I'm making Easter cookies this week, so. Had to have. Also got milk. We always get the organic milk from grass-fed cows. This is the tastiest milk I've ever tried and it doesn't hurt my stomach, which is why I love it. And then we also got the organic heavy whipping cream. We're gonna make sugar cookies tonight because we found some dough in the freezer and I have little spring cutouts. And I use this for making icing for them. We also just like put a splash in this and a lot of different stuff. Potatoes, different pasta recipes. We just like to have it on hand. We also bought eggs. I just forgot to take them out, but we got our normal pasture raised eggs. But then I also got just like a cheap white egg, just like normal eggs to die for Easter. I needed to restock on both of these things because I was trying to make like a chicken marinade from a TikTok and I had these things, but they were both expired. So I was like, oh, better restock. So I got organic raw apple cider vinegar and then just Dijon mustard. We use Dijon mustard in a lot of things, so we needed to replace that. But I've seen a lot of recipes lately that call for apple cider vinegar. So I was like, let me just repurchase that. Okay, we got some new and returning sweets products. So these are the cookies and cream pretzel slims. These are incredible. I feel like they came out this time last year. They were here for a, a second and then they disappeared. Bradley loved them. He loves anything cookies and cream, so he will be delighted. And then I've seen this the past couple of times I've gone, but I was like, eh, I'm, I don't know why. I just was like, I don't need to try it. Chocolatey drizzled strawberry kettle popcorn. I love kettle corn. And then the tagline they had above like the display was tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry in every bite. And I, that's what sold me. Also, my sister was like, Amy, you gotta try it. Let's try it together. Oh my gosh, it's cute and it smells good. So here's what it looks like. Whoa, whoa, that was good. That's not something I need a ton of, but that's good. I'm so hungry. This is also back in perfect timing because Bradley's birthday is this weekend. Sorry, now I feel like I have popcorn and chocolate and everything on my face. Bradley's birthday is this weekend and his very favorite is Funfetti cake and it's their version of that celebration cake, but Trader Joe's does not use any of the gross food dyes, which I love. No red 40 in this. They use vegetable powders and juices to make the colors. I um, mean, their yellow cake mix is incredible. I, I love that stuff. So I'm hoping, I don't think we actually tried this. I think I wanted to try it, but we had no reason to buy it. So I never did, but now it's back. I purchased it. We're gonna make it for Bradley's birthday. I of course got two cans of special cookies. It's just my norm. I just pick up two when I'm there. I have a little back stock in there. I'm telling you one time they went they were missing for months and I was dying. So I'll never let that happen again. I have a back stock. <laughs> okay, now entering the Milo snacks era. We have his sauce pouches. He loves the Kirkland Costco, just organic applesauce pouches, but he also loves these, which are also organic. They're apple mango and apple carrot. Again, any way I can get vegetables in him, but he loves the sauces. He likes them when he first wakes up and then he likes them after his nap. So to the two times he wakes up. He says green orange because the cap of the Costco one is green and the cap of these are orange, so. So I got two boxes of each of these. These are my favorite like snack to share with Milo. These cheddar rockets, they're supposed to be like a goldfish dupe. These are incredible. They taste like freshly baked. They taste like a homemade goldfish and I really enjoy it. So he loves these, I love these. He also loves the organic mini peanut butter crackers. And I like these too. I don't like the cheese ones. He likes the cheese ones, but I prefer these. And so we stocked up on these. We do have backup boxes already, but again, he goes through these like crazy. This is more of a Bradley snack, but you guys know he loves his peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. They're just peanut butter. I find these to be a little dry. Everybody loves these, but like for some reason I find them to be 
dry, like I just said. And then Milo's also obsessed. I'm obsessed too. This cereal is really good. The flakes and strawberry cereal. It's their knockoff version of Special K with red berries and it's tasty. Milo has just like recently learned how to eat cereal. Like it's a mess, but he'll eat it with a spoon in a bowl and it's really cute. And he loves it. He's a cereal. <laughs> I got some organic oven roasted turkey breasts for sandwiches. Milo loves this turkey. I also stocked up on spaghetti. Is your Trader Joe's lately out of pasta? Like mine for months has been out of certain pastas. Like the pasta has been, how many times can I say pasta? But the shelves have been empty, but today they finally had spaghetti. So I stocked up knowing we're gonna have it tonight. This is a new item and I'm so excited. These are ready to bake mini croissant swirls with chocolate chips. So they look like a I thought they were cinnamon rolls, but they're mini croissants. People love the like ready to bake croissants from there and I've never tried them. So I'm so excited to try. And then lastly is boring, but we get their organic white bread. I will take half of this, put it in the freezer. And then we use the other half for PB and J's. I love sandwiches on them, toast in the morning. Just it's our favorite bread. So we needed a restock of that. <laughs> but okay guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. If you want more grocery hauls, I have a whole playlist up in the corner, mostly Trader Joe's, but Sprout, Costco, Vons, Target, they all sneak in there. And now Aldi will be a part of it too. <laughs> I would love to know your Aldi favorites as well. There's, It's like overwhelming. There's a lot to take in. Usually I have Milo with me so I can't take my time, um, but I would love to know your Aldi favorites so I can try them too. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.